Good evening and welcome back to Twin State Sports. I'm Zach Seminar. Despite phenomenal seasons that led to NCAA Tournament Championship game appearances, the MSU Lady Bulldogs have been tripped up short of an SEC Tournament title each of the last three years by the Gamecocks of South Carolina. But on Sunday, MSU was determined to finally get their highly coveted SEC crown. Dogs looking to earn a number one seed for the NCAAs. Taking on 10th seeded Arkansas, Zaria Wiggins getting some early run in the game's second quarter. Puts the dogs up 16 later in the period. Tierra McCown is going to go to work. First, she gets the bucket under the rim. Then McCown is going to use her size and strength to power through for two more. But the dogs, they could do it from distance as well. Here is Briamber Scott left open on the wing. She knocks it home. Then with under a minute to go, the game isn't in question, but that won't stop Andra Espinoza Hunter, whose three gives the dogs a hundo. She hit a record eight threes. An SEC tournament game to finish with a game high 24. And the SEC tournament crown finally belongs to the dogs. Man, she's made me a better coach. Um, she's just been a real blessing for me personally as well as professionally. This is why you do what you do. She's going to graduate. I think she corrected me. I said a 267. I think it's a 27 something, but she's going to graduate in four years. That's going to be such a, a big day for me personally to see her graduate and walk that stage. So I'm just so proud of her. Her mama, Tracy, entrusted us with her. I hope we hadn't let them down. The Pittsburgh Steelers have pulled the trigger on an Antonio Brown trade, sending the disgruntled wide out to the Oakland Raiders for a third and fifth round pick late Saturday night. Per Brown's request, the Raiders will restructure the 30-year-old's current deal. He will now make $50.1 million over the next three seasons. Over $30 million of that is guaranteed. The trade of Brown will be made official when the new league year opens on Wednesday. Brown has caught at least 100 balls for at least 1,200 yards with eight or more touchdowns per year in his last six seasons in the league. Well, a soccer fan in England is facing 14 weeks behind bars after running out of the field this weekend, attacking and punching Jack Grillish. Uh, the 27-year-old landed this knuckle sandwich to the side of the neck and face of Grillish, also costing the outrageous fan a hefty fine and a 10-year ban from all football matches in the U.K. Grillish was able to pop back up onto his feet a few seconds later. Mann was ushered off the pitch while blowing kisses to the crowd. Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series was in Phoenix this weekend for the Ticket Guardian 500 and a late race battle with about 20 to go between Ryan Blaney and Kyle Busch would decide the outcome after a back and forth race for the top spot that lasted nearly five laps. Busch able to pull away and set sail for his first cup win of the season becoming the fourth different driver in four races to clinch a playoff spot. Win for Bush, 199th across the top three touring NASCAR series. They'll pack up for California next week. Yeah, it was, um, it was certainly tough to pass, yes. Uh, it, was, it wasn't easy. You, you were really stuck and mired behind guys. You know, I got close to Blaney, and then I got real tight, and then he kind of got away, and then I ran him back down, and it's just kind of like an accordion thing. You know, you, you cool your stuff off, you go back after him, and then you get too hot and too tight when you're behind him, and then you got to cool back off again. Uh, I just started working the racetrack and just started moving around and trying to find something and trying to get um, low and high and everywhere in between to try to just, you know, keep, get, keep trying to find clean air or cleaner air in order to, to get by him. Still trying to figure out this new rules package for NASCAR that was supposed to create a little bit more passing, a little bit more aggressive driving. Put the onus on the, in the hands of the drivers. And the guy who finished fifth yesterday, more than 10 seconds off the lead, that's not what we want to see no. uh, in NASCAR. So hopefully we can figure this thing out and make it a little bit more competitive. Yeah, maybe we'll get that done before the end of the season. Yeah. Thanks, sir.